do you have a sense of where Calgary wants to go with this team? Like, is there enough there where you say to yourself, okay, there'll be a new manager in place. Uh, it looks like the coach is very much coming back. Maybe if the goalie can turn things around or we go out and get another goaltender, we can run this thing back one more time. Do you get a sense of where the organization is at with this team yet? I don't think you can answer that at all until we find out who's in charge of this team moving forward. You know, who are the, who the next general manager is going to be Uh, if it's a veteran or if it's a first time general manager, I think that affects all of it. Um, You know, I I think what we do know for sure is that Daryl Sutter will be the coach of this team starting next year for sure. And I think with the new general manager in Mm -hmm. place, you know, again, if it's a veteran who's uh, been around the block and, you know, then, then, then there is the chance that we'd have a coaching change, I guess, down the road. But I don't think you'd, can expect that anytime soon you should you shouldn't expect that anytime soon i think you know the news today to me tells you that you know management chose the coach and um and i think that's what it all boils down to you know they 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 have faith in this coach this owner does and uh and he's decided that the coach is more important than the general manager uh that's what i interpret Mm -hmm. today's news as and uh and 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 decided to uh, go in that direction so I think an easy argument could be made, and, and, and this would maybe be against conventional wisdom that people would see around the league, but I think you could bring back almost an identical team as you have this year because that's that's what it looks like, you know, contractually. And I think this team could be very competitive. Um, you know, a lot of things went wrong this year, and just with a few things going right, this team could easily have not only been in the playoffs, but, you know, maybe even had home ice and, and maybe been, you know, a contender. And I don't think that changes. But what I do think is going to be hanging over this organization from now until uh, till it's addressed is the fact that, as you mentioned, there's seven core players that all have expiring contracts next year. And the two most prominent ones, yeah. I would argue, Lindholm and Backlund, uh, hinted, you know, well, they didn't even hint it. They made it pretty clear that their option is not probably not to come back to Calgary next year. Um, you know, they, they there are greener pastures out there in their minds. So I think it's going to be a real tough sell to keep more than maybe two of those seven guys moving forward as, uh, as unrestricted free agents. So the, the complexion of the team will be dramatically different in a year from now, but as of right now, uh, it's hard to say which direction a new general manager is going to go in.